doesn't know me yet. Um, and this section is about walking. So we will get that started. Walking. Yes, Art, walking. Um, just as a reminder, you can use the live questions channel on Slack. We have Doug monitoring that, and he can filter those through me, and we can get those in the middle of the presentation or at the ends. Just a reminder, you can do that. Um, okay, so our first presenter is Hiram Lim. She's from KAIST, and she'll be presenting on behalf of Hyung Ho Jung, and I will let uh, Hiram take it from here. Hello, I'm Lim from KAIST. And today, I will present about a preliminary result of estimation of lower limb movement during walking uh, with a single measurement of central, uh, central mass based on the spring mechanics. Recently, my landmate, Jay, uh, who, is, who was a former dynamic walking attendee, built a startup company named Biflex. Uh, which is about to release the running coaching headphone um, th through the partnership with Soul, Dy Soul Electronics. This headphone measures the running parameters such as uh, speed, distance, and step length, etc., like other wearable devices. And it, in addition, this headphone provides more complex information such as maximum leg force and vertical oscillation and running posture information. So the, then they let the runner know what to adjust if any of these fell out of the ideal ranges. Likewise, the technology to extract more information out of the limited data measurement is the key technology of wearable devices to reserve the trade-offs between the data richness and wearable convenience uh, compared to the laboratory set of measurement instrument. And as an attempt to reserve these trade-offs, we use the spring-like characteristics of human walking. Mm, the spring mechanics demonstrated the kinetics of the central mass during walking, which is driven by the multiple segmented lower limb, such as thigh, shank, and foot. So with the two endpoint informations, central mass and central pressure, the configuration of lower limb, a multiple segment of lower limb, it cannot be determined uniquely. With the information of anchor joint, which is an additional uh, joint of lower limb, then the other joint kinematics can be calculated from the inverse kinematics. And recently, we showed that in addition to the central mass and ground direction force, anchor joint trajectory and anchor joint torque well emulated by the spring leg with compliantly connected and off-centered curvy foot. Then the fly and shank foot angles were calculated from inverse kinematics. From the observed uh, correlation among the gate kinetics and center mass, we examined whether the unmeasured lower limb motion information can be extracted from the single measurement of central mass. Uh, let me briefly summarize the concept of motion, motion estimation procedures. Mm, with the measured central mass trajectory of x and y in the function of time, figure out the step transitions that gives you the information of leg length. Then, the kinematic constraint gives you the information of L and theta from the, uh, uh, the, from the information of X and Y of central mass. Then, the leg stiffness was approximated from the body weight. With those information, 
um, measured gay kinetics are calculated. To verify the, the proposed estimation method, um, we try three cases of measurement of central mass using optical sacral marker, INU in iPhone, and phone camera. Um, measurement procedures were <clears throat> pretty much similar to each other, like young, healthy subjects walked on the first platform tra instrumented treadmill or over the ground at their preferred speed, and they repeated the trials. We tried the optical spectrum marker um, trial uh, case first to confirm the proposed idea. Uh, so we detected the step transition from the first data, first plate data. In case of INU, we attached iPhone on the waist, and step transitions was detected uh, when the acceleration across a certain uh, value, and we obtained the uh, trajectory of central mass by double integration of the acceleration. In case of video, we track the neck, of, we track the feature point of around the neck, and assuming that movement of neck is similar to the movement of sacra. And the step transitions was, was detected around the local minimum of central mass. And these are the preliminary results of the estimation. Uh, with only one measurement, the central mass, uh, we could estimate lower limb, joint, lower limb motion and ground reaction force and ankle torque. Uh, in summary, uh, describability of human walking using spring mechanics uh, led us to extract measured kinetic information. But the improvement of estimation should be followed. And similar to the, what Andy said on the last Monday, purely passive mechanical model may not be good enough to use a motion, uh, for motion estimation. So for further attempt to improvement to estimate estimation performance, we'd like to try a data model hybrid estimation method. Also, we propose, um, also this proposed method only estimates the stance phase during the gait because the current slim model is not a bipedal one, missing the swing leg dynamics. And recently, we found the limit cycle of double spring bipedal walking model that emulates, that emulates the foot trajectory and for hip joint force data. And spring-like characteristic of the bi, bi, bipedal walking, um, this characteristic may help us to extract more information from the limited measurement data. And if you have anything, want to know more about the double spring model, and come and, come and see on the second floor. My voice poster is on the second floor. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Does anyone want to start off with some questions? In the back. So, how do you prevent uh, integration with the data from the uh, Yes. When uh, I assume the steady walking in this case, so um, at, the, at every hair strike, the velocity and the um, height should be maintained. So, through that, I exacted the. Uh, I removed the drift and obtained this central mass trajectory. 
Max? Can you explain this, this point right here where you say the simple hybrid model? That you, like you uh, said it was a combination of data and modeling and I, I didn't quite follow what you meant. Yes, model itself it is a simplifi simplified model. So the model cannot capture the old joint angles uh, correctly. So uh, we are thinking about that uh, most of general shape is coming from the model and the minor tuning can be uh, conducted by the data from the data. So I, I mean that that is the data and model hybrid estimation method. I still don't quite understand. So, what, what, what are you extracting from the data that you, that in addition, that beyond what you're getting already? Um, in case the question for other people. Uh, he are saying about what is the hybrid mean, right? Yeah. Uh, what does hybrid mean? And in particular, he's asking um, what additional information are you getting from the data? as opposed to that's coming straight from the model. Is that right? Yeah. OK. Uh, we are thinking that um, most of the, the different trajectory of the model from the data come from the uh, or observed after the, uh, no, I'm sorry. Is of the difference between the model and the data is observed around the late phase of the stance. So uh, the behavior is very opposite to each other from the data and model. And we can reflect the data behavior of the data to the model and tune the estimation result. <laughs> is it OK? <laughs> I'm sorry. I can explain you uh, later. Your poster, right? uh, this is not about the poster. <clears throat> Do we have any other questions for Hiram? Okay, thank you, Hiram. Thank you.